Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 932. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 931 to 932, click on the link below the video. In this video, sometimes you have a list of items and you actually need to create some sort of um, list of cell references and their value. So in this video, I want to show you two ways to create use a formula to create a cell reference. Now the first way, and then we'll show how to do this one here. The first way, um, the way I do most often is to use the address function. Oops, equals address, and you give it the row number, the column number, and you tell it what sort of reference you want. The way I do this is I just use the row function. If I click in cell A2, it'll tell me A2, and that's a relative cell reference. So when I copy it down, it'll go to A3, A4. But row will just give you the row. It'll say 2, which is what the address row number needs, comma, and then column. I'm going to say, hey, column. And I'm going to click on that same cell. Column will tell you 1 for A. That gives us, and if we enter this right here, if I enter this, it gives me an absolute. But I don't want those absolutes because I want a relative cell reference. So if you want absolute, then you leave it that way. Comma, and then beautiful. The fourth argument is specific, specifically set up absolute, uh, absolute row, relative column. These are mixed, and this is the one I want for. And so there you go. You can copy this down, and there you have a quick way of getting the cell reference. And that's the one I usually uh, create. It's easier to type this out, I think. But here's a perfectly legitimate other solution. You can use the cell function. Cell function has a bunch of cool options. You select address, comma, and then the reference. It will also, like address, give you uh, absolute, but then here we're going to use the substitute, and substitute function takes some text and it will take, will sub, will say, hey, find the dollar sign. So there's the text, the old text we don't want in double quotes a dollar sign, comma the new text double quote double quote, which means put nothing. So it's going to find all the dollar signs and put nothing. I don't know, they're both about the same. I think I could probably, yeah, well, there you go. Those are two ways to do it. I'm going to take this way here. And now we're going to create that, that text formula over here. All right, so we have that. And I'm simply going to join that. And then in double quotes, space, equal sign, space, end double quote, join it. So, so far we have this cell address, that text string, and then whatever's in the cell, the actual text that's in it. Control Enter, and then double uh, copy it down. And so that's a quick way to get a list of cells that say what's in the cell. All right, we'll see you next video.